Hey there, I'm Justin from thecarflip.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Permatex headliner and carpet adhesive to fix your sagging headliners. Now, this will really only work if it's sagging in the front or the back or around one of the edges. If it's sagging in the middle, this will be very difficult to do because you can't actually spray it where it needs to be adhered. But I'll show you our problem in this Mercury Mountaineer. You see that dangling there, our, the sun's kind of shining and it's gonna make this difficult for the camera to detect because it wants to change the lighting. But you get the general gist. This here is sagging down now. What is recommended with this is to do two to three coats. I usually do two coats and it's pretty simple. You shake it up, you get 30 seconds, I've already shaken it. We're gonna be spraying it on the top. So the actual headliner itself is like a plastic corkish material. So we're gonna spray that and then we're also gonna spray the headliner material so that when they touch, they're gonna to both have adhesive so they're gonna bond. Now what you don't do is spray it and you know, push it up there. It's not gonna have enough time to get tacky so it's not gonna do well. So I've already put one coat on this side and I've put two coats on the other side. So the other side is ready to be pushed right up there. So what I did, I sprayed the first coat on the top section and on the fabric, let it sit for five minutes. I came back, I sprayed the second coat over there and I've not sprayed the second coat here. So this is how it works. You're gonna need something as to use as a shield. I don't know if you can pick this up in the camera. There's some spray that's come over on this. If you can't, this is sticky. So if I had not had this, I would be spraying on this. If you spray the glass, it's no big deal. Just come back with a razor blade, you can scrape that right off. If it gets on fabric or leather, it's a little tougher, but it's not impossible to get off. But this is gonna help us to not do that as much. So I'm gonna start on this side, and come from underneath, and I'm gonna try to hit all the surfaces. And try not to spray on the headliner beside it. It's nice, even strokes, you don't need to get too much. You can use the glass to see through. You can't see in corners. So that's the top of the actual headliner. Now I'm gonna do the fabric. Come back through, nice even coats. And that is that. So this will need to sit for about five minutes before I come back and push this fabric up against the hard headliner. We're gonna to walk to the other side and I'm gonna show you what it will look like once we do that. We're gonna go around the front. The exact same problem on this side. But I've already sprayed this, so what will happen is we're going to take this, it's going to be sticky. We're going to stick this up here. And you want to be careful that we're not allowing wrinkles to come in, so very gently we're going to rub our hands using our fingers to adhere it. And sometimes this will be a little stretched, so there may be a wrinkle that forms, but it's going to be much better than it was before. Try to pull anything out that does form. Come over here, push up this corner. I would have preferred not to have left this here, but if I rub over it a good bit, it should work most of it out. Make sure you get the actual edge stuck as well as you can. That's what's gonna hold it and keep it from peeling again. But that is the gist of it. This should set up nicely. And as you can see, this, even though it's not perfect, it's much better than it was. No one's ever gonna notice, notice this except for you. It's way better than that over there that would have continued to spread. So this is gonna be your fix using, and I'll grab my product from over here. The Permatex, this has been good. 3M makes a good one. I don't like to buy the off brands on these because it's not that expensive. We'll put a link below that you can find this on Amazon. It's not that expensive, but it's the Permatex Heavy Duty Headliner and Carpet Spray Adhesive. So the video on the other side, I noticed the lighting wasn't the best. So we're gonna show you this side in the tacking up process. It's very simple, but hopefully the lighting will be a little better on this side. So we're ready now to tack this up. Um, it's gonna be sticky on both sides. So you wanna be careful not to leave any creases or have any overlap that would leave a wrinkle. We're gonna do our best to avoid that. And like so. Now, you're not gonna necessarily expect this to be perfect, but we want it to be as best we can, and so far, it's so good. Sometimes you get a wrinkle that'll form. If you rub it really hard, sometimes you can rub it out. Be very cautious, or I guess observant, to make sure you seal it really well on the edge so it doesn't start to peel again. Do the same thing over here. I'm just using my thumb. Just rub that and get the adhesive to set. 
the way to the corner. It's real easy sometimes to miss spraying this corner. I didn't this time, but I definitely have in the past. So sometimes you'll have a little loose spot over here. But then you're just gonna take your hand, make sure your hands are clean. Uh, you don't wanna finish doing a little change and then come up here and do this, because you're gonna obviously make a mess. But all in all, this one turned out pretty well. It's holding pretty good. And for me, I'm selling this vehicle. It's one I'm flipping. So this will not be an issue that I will have to talk to somebody about. They won't even notice that. So that is how you fix a sagging headliner using Permatex heavy duty headliner and carpet adhesive.